Hi, this is a video review of the Nokia C3 from Phone Arena. It's um, the first QWERTY Messenger thumbboard device from Nokia with the Series 40 mobile platform. That's currently the most widespread uh, platform in the world for cell phones on account uh, of Nokia's huge market share. Um, the device has a 2.4 inch uh, QVJ resolution screen. Um, since it's not a touch screen, there's no touch layer on it and uh, thus it makes it very uh, visible in direct sunlight. The phone has a 2 megapixel camera on the back with this huge lens with chrome like rim and uh, there's a metal plate on the back uh, that covers the battery which is a nice touch in terms of design. It's the same color as um, the front of the unit. We have the um, slate gray version but there's also golden white and hot pink uh, versions. Um, the rest of the good looks are um, complemented by the chrome-like action keys here on the left and the right of the d-pad um, which is a five-way and um, the action keys and the two soft keys here are programmable as well. The left has the micro SD port and the micro USB slot as well and uh, on top are the standard audio jack and uh, the charging port. You can uh, only charge the device um, for this port. The micro USB is only for uh, connection. There's no volume rocker or anything. Uh, but the phone is quite a looker, it actually resembles the E-series and the keyboard is uh, almost exactly the same and the screen as well. The icons and the graphical elements of the interface are masked as uh, Symbian interface like on the E-series but it's actually Series 40 and uh, let's have a look at how the Series 40 performs on the Nokia C3. That's the home screen of the Nokia C3. Uh, Nokia has taken the effort to make it active, meaning that uh, you can have updates in real time on it. The top strip is with your favorite contacts. There's a five uh, icon shortcut launcher on the bottom. Uh, the most interesting thing and the most resembling uh, a widget on the home screen is this middle strip which uh, can show in real time your Facebook and Twitter updates and uh, notifications. You can log into answer as well. So uh, it serves definitely as uh, a widget on a smartphone, for example. Uh, Nokia has tried to alter the default icons of the Series 40 mobile platform to look like a Symbian device. Uh, it's not, it's uh, an S40 device. That's uh, the main menu, also looking like Symbian. Calendar, here on the right appear uh, your events and anniversaries if you have set some already. Office store we were had trouble logging into but you won't be downloading much stuff off of it anyway. Uh, for browsing the Nokia C3 uses um, Opera Mini which is a very capable browser and although it's a 2.4 inch screen uh, you'll be able um, to look uh, up quick info on the internet uh, with Opera Mini. There are a number of useful applications as well. There's no multitasking, so you can uh, only use uh, one at a time. There was a converter somewhere here. Extras, games collection. Right, converter, updating photos on Flickr, etc. Old clock, some uh, useful small applications. That's uh, the gallery. Camera interface is uh, pretty basic, but it can shoot uh, both video and uh, stills as well. That's the gallery. Not much stuff you can do with uh, pictures besides uh, zooming, of course, back and forth. Uh, but it's still enough considering uh, the market segment of the device. Basically, it um, tries to look throughout the interface like an e-series device uh, but it's not and of course its price is not uh, the one of an e-series device. At first we thought it's gonna be hard to type on uh, such a small and compact device. Um, the keyboard is actually slightly curved downwards you can see here and um, the keys are convex so it's not hard to find uh, the key you're looking for and once uh, you get used to the keyboard you can uh, actually type pretty fast, uh, probably even without looking. 
I mean, it's not a BlackBerry keyboard or anything, but uh, it's actually pretty close and uh, once you get the gist of it, uh, you can start typing quite fast since uh, the keys are so well spaced and convex. In conclusion, we would say that the Nokia C3 is a nice, very affordable uh, messenger with a thumb board for Nokia. If you need a phone just to make conversations with uh, Nokia's reliability and uh, the occasional text message or email and uh, to be able to follow your social networking life with uh, updates on the home screen, then the price is very right for that. So the Nokia C3 is uh, a very worthy contender in that market segment. This was a video review of the Nokia C3 from phonearena.com.